On the move. You might notice if you look around that our kids on the move time is looking a little bit different today and that's because we are wrapping up our week of mega sports camp and if you joined us this week in person we are so glad you did and we hope that you had a great time and if you didn't get to join us in person we're glad that you're here with us in kids on the move today and we hope you enjoy getting a little peek into what we did this week at mega sports camp. Now, if you were with us at Mega Sports Camp, you know that every night we started before we went into our sports by standing up and doing a fun warm up together. So let's take a minute, get some energy out, and stand up and warm up together. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey, kids, it's time for the Mega Sports Camp warm up. Get on your feet and let's get ready to move. Run in place. Keep running to the left, to the left, to the left, 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 to the back, to the back, to the back, 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 to the right, to the right, to the right, 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 to the front. Keep running to the right, to the right, to the right, 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 to the back, to the back, to the back, 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 to the left, to the left, to the left, 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 to the front. Side stretch left. One, two, three, four. To the right. One, two, three, four. To the left. One, two, three, four. To the right. One, two, three. Neck rolls now. Left, center, right, center, left, center, right, center. Now arm circles. Start small. Getting bigger. Getting bigger. Even bigger. That's great. Now go backwards. Make them really big. A little smaller. A little smaller. Now even smaller. Now tiny. Let's do jumping jacks. One, two, three, four. Now spin around. Sit down. Great job. All right, great job, everybody. I hope you got your, your stretches in and you're feeling good, ready to go here for the next little bit. So this week we discovered what it means to be, have the heart of a champion. So let's take a second and review all of the words that we learned this week. So H was for hero, E was for endurance, A was for alert, and R was for ready. So now let's check in with Coach John and find out what the T stands for. One of the most well-known obstacles in Ninja Warrior is the Warped Wall. The Warped Wall is usually the obstacle that stands between a ninja and hitting the buzzer. Hitting that buzzer means that you've conquered the course and been triumphant. In order to beat the Warped Wall, you have to run hard and jump as high as you can without the fear of falling. If you're afraid to fall, you're probably not going to make it to the top of the wall. You have to have your eyes on the prize at the top of the wall and go for it with everything you've got. 
with all of your heart. As a ninja athlete, hitting the buzzer is the ultimate goal. At the end of each course, from qualifying to finals, there is a buzzer that you're shooting for. You wanna get there, hit that buzzer, and be triumphant in your run. That's what I'm training for. That's what every ninja trains for, to win. So what does the T in heart stand for? I want you to shout it out so I can hear you. Yes, triumphant. And what a great word to focus on for the last day of our mega sports camp. What does triumphant mean? When we've got the heart of a champion like Jesus wants us to have, we will be triumphant. Even when it seems like we're not the winner in anything we do, when we've done our best and we have a positive attitude, we can be triumphant. The word triumphant makes me think of today's sports story. And we've heard this week about a sports star each night. And today's story is no different. And it is about a champion gymnast. And her name is Simone Biles. And I bet a lot of you have heard of Simone. And Simone was the champion women's gymnast at the 2016 Olympic Games. She was even chosen by Team USA to be the flag bearer in the closing ceremony. And then she decided to take an entire year off. She really wanted to take a break because she had been practicing nonstop every day for hours and hours for over a year. Now taking a break can be a really good thing for all of us from whatever we do and for athletes. But for gymnasts, it can be really difficult to practice enough to come back and be ready to compete again when you've taken a really long break. So Simone again had to practice for hours and hours every day to be ready to compete again. And guess what? She was triumphant when she came back. She's won so many medals and world championships since she took that time off. And she's performed skills that are so amazing that they're named after her because no one else has done them before. And she has won more medals than any other American gymnast. And she's still competing today. So let's take a minute and check in with Coach John and find out about our mega point for today. Bible encourages us not to just train or run, but to train and run for a purpose. We have to have a goal. When you have a goal, you can be triumphant by accomplishing that goal. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. He took our punishment. That was awesome. What a hero. What a champion. But that wasn't the end of the story. Jesus came back from the dead. He was resurrected. He came out of the grave, back to life, and defeated death forever. He defeated death for you and me too. And that reminds me of today's mega point. I can be with Jesus forever. Say that with me on the count of three. One, two, three. I can be with Jesus forever. That means that when we believe in Jesus, we can live forever with him in heaven. That was God's goal when he sent his son Jesus to earth. And Jesus was triumphant. Now, each of us has a choice to make. We can choose to follow Jesus and live our lives for him, or we can choose to go our own way and live for ourselves. The Bible tells us that Jesus is the only way to heaven. That means that if we want to be triumphant, the only way to do that is to follow Jesus. When you decide to follow Jesus, you become triumphant. You win not just now, but for forever. Believing in Jesus brings hope, love, joy, and purpose into each of our lives. You become a champion in every area. You can be sure that you will live in heaven with Jesus and you can live your life with boldness and power, overcoming any obstacle that stands in your way through the power of Jesus. So tell me, who's ready to be a champion? Yes, that was a great introduction to how Jesus is our champion. Let's say our mega point together. Shout it out with me. I can be with Jesus forever. Let me hear it one more time. I can be with Jesus forever. Awesome job. Let's take a minute now and stand up and sing Romans 5, 8, our theme verse for the week. 
Stand up and let us hear you sing. Romans 5 8. But God demonstrates His own love. Love toward us. Love toward us. But God demonstrates His own love. Love toward us. Love toward us. Great job, everybody. So this week, every day at Mega Sports Camp, we have heard a true story from the Bible. On the first day, we looked about how the world began. We found out that God created the world and everything in it, and everyone in it, and he created us too. And on day two, we found out that Adam and Eve were created to have a close relationship with God. The Bible describes how Adam and Eve walked and talked closely with God. He knew everything about them, and they knew him too, but they chose to broke that relationship with him when they sinned. And every one of us ever since then has sinned too. But Jesus' love endures, we learned, even when we make mistakes. And on day three, we talked about how Jesus loves us so much that he was willing to come and live here on earth. He was born just over 2,000 years ago in the country that we now call Israel. We talked about his unusual birth. And on day four, we talked about how Jesus grew up and became a leader. His followers thought he was going to be a king, but instead, people got really mad at Jesus. They killed him by crucifying him on a cross. And Jesus chose to die. So who did Jesus choose to die for? He died for us so that we could be forgiven of our mistakes. And then we can choose to live for Jesus. 
So on Thursday night at Mega Sports Camp, our story ended with Jesus on the cross. And that afternoon, the sky went dark from about noon until 3 p.m. And then there was this big earthquake. But after all that, Jesus died. And Jesus' friend Joseph asked if he could bury Jesus. But the religious leaders, they really wanted to make sure that Jesus' body stayed in that tomb. So they had guards stationed there. And a few days later, a few of Jesus' friends, they rushed to that tomb and they were sad and they just wanted to visit him, even though he was dead. They just wanted to sit there. But when they got there, the tomb was empty. Had Jesus really risen from the dead? Was somebody playing a really mean trick on them? A lot of people didn't really believe that Jesus was actually alive. And even some of his closest, best friends doubted that Jesus had risen from the dead. And one of those was his friend Thomas. And two other friends of Jesus, they were walking down the road not too long after Jesus died. And as they walked, a third man joined them and asked, what are you talking about? Do any of you have a guess who that man on the road was? Yes, it was Jesus. But his friends didn't know that. But what they did know is that after walking and talking with him, that they really liked this guy. <laughs> they liked this man. So they invited him to stay and have dinner with them. And he did. And some of the friends there were afraid once they knew it was Jesus because they thought he was a ghost. He had died. How could he be here? But Jesus then showed him the scars in his hands and his feet. He let them touch him. And he even ate some food so they knew that he was really alive. Jesus' friends knew he was alive. And then about 40 days after that, after his death, Jesus gathered his friends together and he told them that he was going to go to heaven to prepare a place for them. When we have Jesus in our life, we will go to heaven to be with him when we die. Being with Jesus is a wonderful thing to look forward to. That was what our mega point for today says. Say it with me again. I can be with Jesus forever. You know, Jesus almost also promised to return to us one day. The Bible says that Jesus is gonna come down from heaven with a loud command and with the trumpet call of God. He on that day will be triumphant. I cannot wait to be with Jesus forever. And we really hope that all of you make that choice too. We have had such a great week at Mega Sports Camp. We hope that you remember what it looks like to have the heart of a champion like Jesus. And we hope that you, if you are with us in person or close by today, even if you're not here right now, you will come by the church at 12 today for our Mega Sport picnic lunch. You and your families are all invited and we hope to see you there. Let's close our time together today by praying together. Dear Jesus, we thank you for a great week at Mega Sports Camp. We've had so much fun learning about sports and about athletes, but most of all, God, we're so thankful that we've been able to learn about you, the world that you've created, how you, much you loved us that you created us, and how much you ultimately loved us that you gave your life on the cross so that we can live with you forever someday. And we pray today that if there is anyone who has not yet made that decision for you, that they will make that decision to ask you to forgive them of their sins so that they can live with you in heaven forever. We love you so much, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, everybody. One last time together on the crown of three. What do we say? One, two, three. Mega Sports Camp! Thank you so much for joining us today, guys. We're so glad that we got to share this week with you. And we will look forward to seeing you right back here next week for another week of Kids on the Move. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.